<laughs> computer crashing just like me. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll tell you what I started to do, but mine said kernel power, so it was game over. There's a lot of that's not a whole lot that you can do when it says kernel power. If it says kernel power, man, you got a power issue. <laughs> there's no, there's no talking about it. We're not gonna have a conversation if it just says kernel power. So now this next one here is from Psionic Shroom. That does not sound healthy. <laughs> and Psionic Shroom writes, computer crashing. Hi, my computer has been crashing ever since I updated to Windows 11, joined the rest of us. Only recently when it crashes, it said it was repairing C drive or something like that. It's been crashing more recently and I've tried solving it and asking people for help, but I have no luck. I can't put it back to Windows 10 since my computer says it's not available, so any help would be great. Okay, well, this isn't giving you enough information to really go off of, but typically after it reboots several times, it will say that it's gonna attempt to repair the C drive. That's normal behavior, so I don't want you to get um, ahead of where you are on your current issue. What you need to do, the first thing you need to do before you look at drive or anything um, is one, let it finish repair so it can get back <laughs> and load. If, if you may be able to skip it, if not, then let it go ahead and do its thing so you can get back to Windows up, uh, coming up. Once it's up, then uh, what you wanna do is you wanna go to Event Viewer and you wanna go to System, okay? And once you go to system, you want to scroll down until you figure out why it crashed. So basically go down to the timestamp of when it crashed. You're going to be looking for an error that is showing critical. Okay. And it's going to have a timestamp similar to when the device crashed. Okay. If it's like mine and it says kernel power, then you more than likely have a power issue or a motherboard issue. It's a possibility it could be memory, but it's highly unlikely. Now, um, whatever error that it says, you want to look that error up and then go from there. Um, you know, it could be, it could be power, it could be memory, it can be several different reasons and I don't want you to get ahead and just assume that it's a drive when it can be something else. So uh, just, and, and then on top of that, you said it's having multiple times. All you have to do is look at that one and then compare it to the last time that it, it um, that it crashed prior to the most recent and just go back maybe two or three times just to make sure they all crashed for the same reason. If they did, then look up the error and then take it from there because they all are crashing for the same reason. That means that you have something that you need to get fixed, okay? Cool, Psionic Shroom, that was a good question.